Four hundred armed noblemen, Honoré? If it weren't for General enough. Lafayette... Enough! The room is fogged with your bluster! All hot air and no action! Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named Lafreniere. Sure. Certain. Grandmaster de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arnaud. Find Monsieur Lafreniere. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pispa? I had a lead on Lafreniere. I followed it, and I killed him. I'm what the hell are you thinking? How dare you defy the The next time you strike him at the council, I'll give you, you a new arsehole! While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever Lafreniere was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Pierre. Ah. Uh, Go then. See what you can learn. But no more rash action. Hm? Yes, mentor. Probablement simple d'esprit.
This is the place. What was Lafreniere so interested in? Get him upstairs, quickly. Latouche, old friend. You do get about, don't you? Dream that. Bugger's gone. Right, back to it. Condemned to death, those who were so sacrilegious as to undress before the image of the Emperor. Once tyranny invented the crime of injured majesty, which were actions either indifferent or heroic, who could have dared to think 
that it merited a punishment more gentle than death without rendering himself guilty of the same crime. How much longer must we wait? I do have other business to tend to. A little bit more. I guess I'd better put some coffee on. Our master wants to play for the window before we begin. I trust we'll finally learn the meaning behind our research and activities. All will be made clear. I don't like it. The plan is still too vulnerable. That seems convenient. That's the thing about assassins. Point them at a Templar. Uh, that hey, way well questions. now. Didn't oh, just up and vanish now, did you? Got you! Oh. Come. finished near enough now here's the thing i can go on like this all day are you you got an hour left in you two at the most ah if i bring out the sharp bits so why not skip the end game and go directly to me tell me where it is and all this can be over what was that you're a smart man Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. Be right there. Ah! You heard the weasel, boys? <laughs> Belongs in the gutter. Sloppy. Someone might have seen it. Who? My boys are watching the whole place. They'll deal with any good Samaritans. They better. The Grandmaster won't be happy if the whole plan comes unraveled because of one dead peon. Patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grandmaster, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Sivir and the Wadetun. Oh, Sivir and the War already served their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Della Sir brat? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Sire will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, 
Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Please. Clever, Grandmaster. Was it? Hotel Voisin? Merde. going on? Where is Monsieur Lafreniere? He's dead. What? Go! I'll explain later! No way past this one. Shall we? Let's! <laughs>
What's wrong? I'm not no. sure how to get out again. I'll climb up and take a look. Too many of them to slip past. We'll have to work together. Take them out quietly. You must be such a kid. You see a young woman. Oh, red. We're clear. There's a bigger group coming up, though. Thank <laughs> you. 
looks like the last of them. Let's get out of here. They can't have gone far. Find them! Go on. I'll distract them. Trust me. Meet me tomorrow at Café Théâtre. I'll explain everything. You're mad. I'll be there. They may be a little late. So? So? Seems you've been busy. Tracking down the man who killed your father, yes. Best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. No closer now than I was two years ago. I've seen him. What? When? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins. Do you trust me? I haven't changed that much, Elise. I'm still the same boy who, who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. The same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear the raw fare. Offer may be a bit strong. Is that? Bloody Templar. What's he doing? Really? They're a touch power security. Two right turn, 73 steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? What the hell you done this time, pisspot? The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here? The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? My name is... For heaven's sake, take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. My name is Elise de la Serre. 
My father was François de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help. Continue. Mirabeau. Must we rehash this debate again? We must, and we will, Master Kimar. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by François de la Serre's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle de la Serre. Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parley, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the Order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parlay, my arse! It's a trick! To make us lower our guard! I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek! Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Lesser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. went about as well as I expected. Good time. Mirabeau will talk them around. Do you really think you'll find him? After all this time? His luck can't last forever. François Germain believed that the mayor was... François Germain? Yes. Where is he? His shop's on the Rue Saint-Antoine. Oh. What the... Elise? Oh, Slow down! François Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? I would very much like to ask him a few questions. So would I. Same Germain. Tall, grey hair, eyes two different colours. All right, perhaps it is the same Germain. Looks like no one's home. Don't tell me. It's a trap. 